most respected dear family members my pranams to you today we will be discussing about the prosody known as chanda shastra i have explained to you that in india we have got thousands of literature we have got thousands of acharyas thousands of subject and written during the many thousands of years ago we have explained about vedas why it is known as anadi why it is known as avadhishaya why vedas are known as mantra drashtara rachana and so on after explaining about vedas which is available in youtube hundreds and hundreds of hours of speeches are available in youtube if you go to youtube and just to give dr n gopalishan you will be getting almost all these speeches given in english or malayalam for both these you can give dr n gopalakrishnan in small letters so we have explained about vedas if you give vedas dr n gopalishan you will get it brahmana grandas aranyaka granda after that we explained about upanishad of course we have given only introduction we cannot go deep into that one in this type of lectures after that we came to shiksha grandha shiksha grandha means the rules and regulations teaching us informing us educating us on how to learn vedas learning vedas it is not that easy it has got cumbersome and very serious deep rules it should be understood systematically and customatically there is no english word like customatically but we have made it nobody has prevented us from making some new words in english so systematically and customatically how to learn veda that is given in shiksha grantha then niruktam how each word of veda mantra evolved that is given in nirukta and how the vedic grammar perfect grammar has been explained by panini that is given yesterday i mean june third yesterday's lecture i have given how the vyagarana grammar it is written systematically so shiksha niruktam vyagaranam over today we have to go slightly uh information slightly deep information about chanda shastra pingalacharya has written chanda shastra about 2400 or 2300 years ago 23 centuries ago in which he has clearly explained how veda mantras were composed all the mantras have got 18 let sorry 20 letters or 24 28 32 36 40 44 48 52 56 you cannot have in between number of letters generally so all the veda mantras carry the letters number of letters multiples of 4 and gayatri mantra has got 24 letters so that is known as gayatri chandas ushnik chandas it may be a multiple of 4 it may be 28 or 32 jagadi chandas brihadi chandas anushtub chandas ati jagadi chandas brihadi chandas and so on so these chandas how we will be knowing about it you know while chanting one particular sukta in the beginning itself the name of the rishi who composed that particular mantra and the name of the chantas which is uh, used for composing that mantra and the devada on which this mantra is chanted all these three are first recited then only we will be going to then only the vedic scholar will be going for chanting say for example gadino vishwamitra rishi devi gayatri chanda mitro devada then we go to the mantra mitrasya charshane indrato vo devasya danasi dyumnam chitrasravastam mitro janaanyadaya dibruvano mitro dadara prithivi 
This mantra is written like that. So Gadina Vishwamitra wrote this particular mantra. His name is Gadina Vishwamitra. When we talk about the Rishi, we touch the forehead. And then comes, when you touch the nose, this Chandas it comes. Gayatri Chandas. Then Devada, we touch the heart. So Gadina Vishwamitra Shri Devi Gayatri Chanda Mitro Devada. Every mantra has got Chandas. Some of the mantras have got 24 letters. Om Bhor Vaswaha Tachavidur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Ad. 24 letters. Agnimi Ile Purohi Dam Yetnasya Deva Mrtvijam. Oda Aram Retnadam Agni Porve Eber Shibidi Dhyono Dana Iruda. Sadevanga Ehavakshadi. This has got still more numbers, multiple of four. And Swadishtaya, Madhishtaya, Babasrasova, Madharaya, Indra, Aya, Badavi. Still number is different. Some of the mantras have got 56 numbers. Adi, Brahadi, Chandas. We call them like that. Then, A Krishna, Rajasa, Vartaman, Unimesha, Yenna. Amradham Martyam Chachiranya Yena Savidara Dena Devo Yadi Bhuvanani Pashyan This is one mantra. Shamagni Ragni Vikara Channasta Vada Sujya Shambhato Vaktvara Vapasnida This is another, another number of letter containing Vedic mantra. Some of the mantras may be very small. Sangacca Dvam Samvada Dvam Samvomana Amsijanata Deva Bhagam Yada Purve Sanjana Na Upasade. This number is less. Druvasu Tvasu Kshidhichayando Vyasmat Pasham Varnomu Mochada Abhavanvana Ditir Vastayu Yambada Swastibhissadana Ha. Number again varies. So when you have got the 24, 28, 32, the, the Chandas rules are there. How to put a Ghanakshara? how to put a vowels, how to put a swarakshara, and how sandhi comes, when sandhi comes, like andha, na plus dha, dha comes, dhya, dhya, dha is there, dha is there, ya is there. These three letters, how it should be counted when you say 24 letters or 28 letters. All these rules are given in a very book, big book by, by, Pingala Acharya in Chanda Shastra. So Chanda Shastra is also known as Vedanga. Vedanga, it is the organ of the Veda, which explains to you how these Veda mantras are composed thousands and thousands and thousands years ago. Many people used to say Jesus Christ has been explained in Veda. I do not know whether Jesus Christ ever existed. And very clearly many atheists used to say there was no one individual known as Jesus Christ at all. Many people say Vedas have got, not many people, some missionaries. For, for cheating Hindus, they say Vedas explain about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, if at all he was living, it's about 2000 years ago. But Vedas composed about 8000 years ago, 6000 6, BC. How a past thing can be composed in a, how a future thing can be composed in a past mantra. Even if it is composed, it is not like an individual like Jesus Christ or Prophet Muhammad. These are all for cheating. So why I said about this particular issue now to you? It is because many people who are ignorant about the subject, they started teaching by misinterpretation to many people. And those who are 100% ignorant, they think that these people are telling correct things. So your ignorance should not be a blessing for others or for you. We always used to pray Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, Asadoma Sad Gamaya, Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya. We never prayed that uh, Asadoma Sad Gamaya instead of that Satma Asado Gamaya. We have never prayed it. Jodhir Maha Tamaso Gamaya. That also we did not pray. So we should not go to darkness because of our ignorance. We should learn as much as possible. Learning 
this Chanda Shastra is not that easy. We need commentary for understanding even a single line. Learning ancient Indian books and ancient Indian philosophy, ancient Indian knowledge is not that easy because their intellectual capacity were, I mean, the people who composed the Veda Mantras and all these Vedangas, their intellectual capacity was so high compared to the intellectual capacity of the present generation. That is why generally we used to say, for acquiring knowledge on modern subject, you have to go forward to the future. For acquiring the great knowledge on spirituality, the philosophy, the psychology, and a variety of other subjects like music, dance, anthropology, sociology, instead of moving forward, you go back. Then only you will be understanding exactly what is meant by Indian heritage and the true knowledge. That ancient knowledge got evolved from inside the laboratory. Modern knowledge is getting evolved from outside the laboratory. What we need is sustainable and permanent knowledge, whether it is old or new, it is immaterial. But ancient knowledge that got perfectized, it is perfect because it came out from inside. After thousands and thousands of years of experimentation, our Indian scholars could give you the subject with the three Shanti, Om Shanti, 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 Adhyatmika Shanti, peace inside the body, Adi Bhautika Shanti, external peace, Adi Devata Shanti, the celestial bodies existing and, and revolving in a peaceful evolution, peaceful revolutionary situation. So that could be possible and that was possible using the ancient knowledge of India, not ancient knowledge of other countries. In Mesopotamia, Babylonia, Rome, Egypt and China, ancient knowledge is absolute zero now. It is not at all present. All those got wiped out. But only in India we have got that knowledge. The Christian missionaries with the support of the politicians, they are doing their level best to wiping out all Indian heritage and on the other side, they claim Indian heritage belongs to the Christianity. They take everything from Hindu Dharma and criticize, blame and belittle, denigrate Hindu Dharma. This is their usual cheating method. How they converted Europe, how they converted America, how they converted Australia and Africa. Exactly the same pathway Kerala Christians are following in India for converting Hindus. But I request you, learn something, teach your children and others something. Don't think that when you will be getting such type of knowledge from the schools. People will not be giving you such type of knowledge from the schools. You are expected to learn by yourself and teach your children and your colleagues and your family members. In which include Vedas, Vedic messages. I am not telling that you should learn Brahmana Grenthas. It is not that much relevant in our days. At least learn some names of Brahmana Grenda. Aranyakas are also not that much relevant in the modern period, but still understand that there are a group of literature known as Aranyaka. Learn systematically at least a half a dozen Upanishads. Simple Upanishads are there. The translation, translated version in your language or in English or Hindi available very easily. Then Shiksha Grindam, Nirukta Grindam, Vyagrana Grindam and what we have learned today is Chanda Shastra Grenta. So learn as much as possible. In that. And remember that Chanda Shastra of Pingala Acharya explain for the first time what is meant by zero. So we used to say Indians discovered zero. That is appearing first in the Chanda Shastra, Rupe Shunyam, Dvi Shunyam and so on. Sutra type of explanations given in Pingala Acharya's Chanda Shastra. Learn as much as possible. Go to Google and you search any knowledge needed for you, whether it is technological knowledge like Iron Pillar or Ajanda Cave Temple or Madhura Meenakshi Temple Pagoda, Gopuram or Padmanabha Swami Temple, Single Stone, Mandabam and so on. All these are available in, in Google. You go to Google and give your word either in Malayalam or Hindi or Kannada, you will get almost all the information needed. 
you need not even have to go to the library for sitting there for hours together and searching the books for hours together and opening the pages for hours together and within minute you will sleep but here in front of you evening or late evening you can spend in computers and try to learn and teach others 121 crore indians are living now in ignorance so all the good things from the ancient and all the good things from the modern can be integrated for making an excellent life in the modern period my request to you is to learn indian heritage and teach others we have got a program now towards global reach tgr every indian knowledge we are putting uploading in the youtube we are uploading in the facebook we are uploading in the twitter and we are uploading in uh, in variety of our own website iish.org every day we are telecasting our web tv iish.tv just to go to www.iish.tv you will be getting fantastic programs also in malayalam hindi telugu also and the website will be giving you a lot of information learn as much as possible and teach your family members become a great good indian independent of the factor whether you are a hindu christian or muslim don't tell that only our religion is correct don't tell that all the people should come to our religion all the christians and muslims are doing that in a wholesale business improving the membership of their religion just like political parties they say that not only their allah they say that only their jesus will be saving us we need not tell that one agashar padidam toyam यदा गच्छति सागरम सर्वदेव नमस्कारम केशवम प्रति गच्छति ऑल द अल्टीमेटली रीचेस बट नेवर अलाउ यू टू गेट चीटेड डेलाइट चीटिंग इज गोइंग ऑन बाय द क्रिश्चियन मिशनरीज एंड इस्लामिक टेररिस्ट एंड फंडामेंटलिस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट लेट आवर नॉलेज करेज बोल्डनेस ट्रूथफुलनेस सिंसियरिटी डिवोशन एंड डेडिकेशन लीड अस फ्रॉम डार्कनेस टू लाइट विद दिस वर्ड्स I express my deep gratitude. Thank you very much.